Dwirangba is a little fishing village that used to be known as Thorn Bay. It is situated on the west coast of South Africa, about 300 kilometers from Cape Town. The village has about 2,000 people living in it. They make a living from the packaging and export of crayfish and the town's economy is closely linked to the operations of the crayfish factory. The small-scale fishing policy requires fishing communities to register community-based legal entities to which community fishing rights will be entrusted. This means that a right will be owned by a group of individuals rather than one individual. Turingba has 12 primary cooperatives and one secondary co-op named Ukundleka. These cooperatives are seen by government as a vehicle for employment creation, a key government strategic objective. In a cooperative, all members are equal and have likewise equal benefit and equal risk. It is this unique characteristic that makes a cooperative the strongest business model available. In our city, we think it's the cooperative management person. Uh, um, again, uh, Registering a cooperative is easy and there are minimum requirements. Complete the application forms. Attach certified copies of IDs. The cooperative's constitution, to which model constitutions are available online. Submit your application through mail or in person. 
Ukundleke started in 2009 by the small-scale fishes of Dwerengbaai. It includes fishes from Papendorp and Ibunahuizen. The fishermen work together with MDT and Small Enterprise Development Agency to formalize the cooperative with only 20 beneficiaries. They manage to attract start-up capital and resources such as boats and storage facilities from the local government, Department of Trade and Industry and other stakeholders. Ukundleka Secondary Cooperative Harvest Lobster, Lionfish and White Mussel. They also market these resources to sustain the cooperative. I am Ella Williams from Dwarenbuy. I am working for Ukundleka Secondary Cooperative. I am a member of Coastal Links. The basic thing that I have done today is um, the, the kilos that I have done today for all the season open. I will sort of the kilos correct for the market that I come and I have a photo from. I can tell the payments from each fisherman to this my plug and to sort that it regular done work. For us, uh, it was quite a process to come to such a solution that we can work on, we set up a system that we can monitor each and every detail. Uh, if they go to sea, how many went to sea, can even uh, uh, capture that, because there is a process, because normally you won't find that each and every fisherman will go to sea on a daily basis. So even on a daily basis, we can capture how many was at sea, uh, and accordingly how we can then, at the end of the day, capture how, how much cages was, was caught. Starting from going to sea and coming back, so the crayfish is way in. And normally we, we, we capture it uh, per fisherman uh, as they land, uh, do their landing on a daily basis. So normally what we do, we, we capture the name, surname, also the car operative catch per day, the cages, amount that they receive per kg. This is the total, uh, what, what they earn, and then you will have the deductions. The advances will only, not for all of them, but for those who just need an extra, normally they will sign off. Every boat has three boats, three engines. Now every boat is responsible for their equipment. So the voorzitter zorgt that every boat has a tourist in the middle of it. And every boat has three people or four people in the boat, and they have 10 to 11 people in the co-op, or they have 11 people in the dorm. And the voorzitter, every boat has a voorzitter, every boat has a voorzitter that all the other members in the co-op how do I now say that it is with tourists? I am a Christ Prince, I am a CEO in the club. And my belonging is that the CEO must be able to do it. And they say that the voorzitter will be able to do it. We have our own tank, our own blast freezers, our own cool truck. So, I think we have to take the conclusion that we have to take the truck to take the truck. Dan heeft ons eigen kampen, ons eigen geld. Ik is André Andrews, ik is van Dorenbaai. Ik is de voorzitter van Delorado Co-op. We zitten op die oomblik, zitten met de Holling Facility en een vastplek. Maar die plek is nog niet recht gemaakt. Die gebouwen is daar, maar die plek is nog niet wanneer een recht gemaakt. We staan in ons, die visseman, ons zorgt ook nog financiële financiën. Ik zou die doen tot zijn recht komt, dan kan hij... Ik heb gescheept tot tussen 60 en 80, ja, 60, 80 personen. Het zal voor de voorste man in staat stellen om beter winsten te kunnen maken uit zijn product. Ik ben thans op alles heerlijk wat ons doen is. Ons verkoop op een schaal, maar zo niet aan de aanvang komen. En volle lopen, denk ik, als hij niet eens al loopt, zal die voorste man bij hem hier. Als je product kan krijgen. Dan moet je maar hier schuld maken, daar schuld maken, op het einde van die dag. Maar wat is geleerd is, als we beginnen bouwen aan die koop, als we inploegen aan die koop, want die koop is een wettige entiteit, een bezigheid. Die kan aanzoek doen voor bevondsing, al die goed is er. Maar in die verleden, het is een beetje... Of vlog van die vissen man, was iets niet voor die vissen man. Gewoon die dag van die vissen man, aan de inzicht van die vissen man. Ze had die beste zin te doen om die persoon te doen. Ze had zo wat goed op die kaart, wat hij daar aan de kaart is. Ik had een keer tussen niks. Zo daar, ik had een keer iets in de pot, iets op de kamer. 
تعالي معايا زي ما نفسر لما 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 نفسر I think in the near future the, the situation will better. So those who are still interested in, 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 in established car operators, this is the way to go, but learn from this one and, and you can better the situation for, for yourself.